So what we are going to do is we are going to put together the telescope onto the mount and the way to do it is first of all this is the tripod and so you stretch out all the legs make sure it's equally spaced out and the next thing you do is take the mount which is going to allow the telescope to move up and down and left and right and so it has a hole on the bottom and you take the hole and put it through this mounting post and there's a locking screw here, big fat one you lock it down make sure this is all tight enough spread out and so what this thing is going to allow you is any, any scope you attach here you can move up and down and left and right which is whatever you're pointing at in the sky and so <clears throat> now the next thing is to attach the telescope itself and the scope has a has a what's called a dovetail and that's going to fit in there in the slot and then you tighten the screw and then you're good to go that's pretty much how it is so there's a smaller slot here and so what can help in doing this is to lock it down Hold. lock this motion down so you tighten it so you can't move <coughs> And then set it here. Let it go all the flush against the groove and then basically just tighten it. This is a bit bulky and so make sure not to it doesn't slip and fall out. So as you can see, it's got it in the teeth. And what you yeah. see, the, pro the problem here is if I let it go, it's falling backwards, so it's not balanced. And so what you want to do is balance it. But before balancing, we're going to put an eyepiece on it. So we balance it with the eyepiece, because the eyepiece is also going to have some weight. And... <clears throat> So this is the diagonal, basically, that hooks up. up to the scope. And you're going to put all the eyepieces in here. And you look through the eyepiece, and this is the focusing knob. And there's one thing weird over here, which is... So, screw this thing, screw it back, so it's sturdy enough, and there are a few eyepieces. All the eyepieces in the box are an inch and quarter diameter, which means they'll only go into the smaller hole. If you have, there are other eyepieces you get in the market which are thicker. They are the two inch eyepieces, but you don't have those. So what you'll be putting is putting them is here. So you loosen the screw, plug it in, open the cap. And these things are easy to misplace, so you want to put them in some safe place where you're not going to misplace them. Never ever look through the scope at the sun. And so it's basically all, almost set, except we have, we have yet to do the balancing. That's what we do now. So if I loosen this, we go back to, if I let it go, it's going to fall back. And so what you want to do is slide it forward in the groove to the point where when you let it go, it's going to stay as is. And so if I let it go, it's completely loose. If I let it go, it just stops. And that's what you want. And so loosen the, loosen the screw here, loosen the screw here. And basically you can just point it to wherever 
whatever you want to see in the sky up down left right just make sure you're not using in the in the daytime and pointing it at the sun yeah so uh, the function of this thing is a finder scope what happens is the telescope is so powerful even with the lowest power eyepiece is going to be fairly zoomed in in the sky so finding things is can be hard and so what the scope comes with is what is called a finder scope it's just a straight pass through low magnification smaller telescope but it's not aligned meaning what you want is the scope to be aligned with the telescope which means whatever you see in the scope in the center should be the same as what you see in the finder scope and so the very first thing you want to do before observing in the night to just help you find your way is to align these two and the way you do it is find something with the scope that is easy enough to find make sure it's in the center of the view and then look through here and see if it's in the center in the finder as well and if it is not you are, you use these tiny screws there are there's a cross hair when you look through it and so you can basically just move the screws around till what you see in the middle through the finder scope is the same as what you see in the main mm -hmm. telescope and once you are done with that you are set for the night session because after that if you're finding say the orion nebula or a planet like saturn or jupiter it's much easier to just point the scope roughly to where it is and look through this i mean i agree the position of this scope is not ideal but you look through here and at least find the planet or find the object in the finder scope before putting in before looking through here because it's unlikely you're going to find object through the main telescope so. right so one of the things is um, uh, the moon is very bright in the sky and so with a scope of this size it's going to be pretty bright in the eyepiece when you look when you look at it and so you might get a lot of glare it might hurt your eyes so what we do is uh, there's this thing which is a filter it's just a neutral filter it's as good as putting sunglasses on and looking at the moon and so what you do is um, whichever eyepiece you are going to use at the bottom of the eyepiece there are threads and this thing has a male thread and so you screw it on doesn't have to go all the way in but i mean it seems to be going fairly easily okay and so what's happened is it's a neutral basically darkening filter so you, then you plug it in and tighten the knob and then you can see the moon and that gives you a better view